Hello everybody, my name is Anita and I run Newbrink Studio which is on the border of um, Norfolk, Cambridgeshire and Lincolnshire. We're actually in Norfolk but only just. Um, I'm here today to talk to you about jelly plates and show you how to use them. If you don't know what a jelly plate is, they look like this. So you can get square ones and nice little dinky ones and then they go up in various sizes um, to quite large. Today I'm going to be using a square one, which is this one, and you can see it's not very clean, and I'm going to use it onto a flexi mat um, so that I can lift it up onto fabric and things like that. It sticks so you can go like that and it doesn't fall off. I'm going to show you how to use it onto paper and how to use it onto fabric because predominantly I use a lot of fabric um, because textiles is my thing. We need mark making materials as well. Uh, so I have got some things like a bit of tubing. I've got a stencil. These are marvellous. These are children's rubbing plates and you get quite a nice selection of patterns. They're double sided as well. They also come like this, so I'm sure a number of you who do arty things will have children's rubbing plates somewhere. Just go and buy them, they won't know. Then the other thing that you can have handy is a piece of um, perspex or something that you can roll your colour on. I've already mixed some colours here ready to show you. But as you can see, they're on perspex, ready to go. Uh, have mixed them with some fabric medium because I'm going to use them on fabric. Now, to mix it with fabric medium, you put 50% fabric medium to 50% paint. The paint I'm using is acrylic. Uh, good quality acrylic is what's required. Please don't buy the cheap children's ones. You don't get such good results. Although it works, it's not as good. Uh, go into the um, DIYers shed and pinch some of their tools because you can make marks with these as well. And I'm sure they won't notice them gone till you ask them to do a job. And the other thing is feathers. Okay, I have lots and lots of chickens and ducks and a goose or two, so I can make lots of uh, marks with their feathers too. And if you feel like doing any drawing or anything, um, a stick that is sharp enough to use as a pencil. And the other thing is um, stamps and print blocks. So there are many, many ways that you can use a jelly plate. Um, it works both on paper, card and on fabric. So we have a choice as to what we want to put it on. So here is my jelly plate. I have two rollers, a dirty one and a clean one, even though it doesn't look very clean. I have rolled out some paint on my piece of perspex and I'm now rolling it onto the jelly plate. I have two colours on here at the moment with a third ready to go. The first thing that I'm going to do is make a print using this. Just press it on. Don't put too much paint on. If you put too much paint on, you're just going to get a smudge and the paint will move. That's not what we're after. If you want to put it on paper, just lay your paper on. Give it a little rub. Go over with your brayer or your roller, whichever you prefer to call it. It is actually a brayer. There you go. Peel it off. And there is your print. Okay. Let's do that on fabric. I'm using 100% cotton here. And actually one of my favourite cottons as well, this is. So I'm going to pin it down. I have some nice little pins here. Perfect for this. Because I want this to be really, really tight. I don't want it moving whilst I'm trying to get my prints. This drop cloth has got a blanket underneath it, 
which makes this ideal because it's nice and soft so that I can press into it to get my prints. Okay. Not just the corners, also putting pins in the sides, top and bottom too. Okay, so that's a nice and tight piece of fabric ready to go. So I will pick up some pink, which I'm now rolling on. I don't want a huge amount of it because it is very bright. So I'm just putting some on like that. And then picking up some of the blue, which I'm going in with over the top. As well. Okay, so there's not a lot of paint on here, just rolling it on. A nice layer is what we're after. Okay. If you've had a go at screen printing, it's very similar. So not too thick. And then using whichever mark making tool that you fancy using, um, I think we will go in with the stamp. So I'm using this block print. I'm going to offset it. It's not central. And then, see the design is on there, I'm going to literally lift this up, put it onto the fabric and press. And do press hard. And when you peel it off, your print is on your fabric. Okay, if your fabric's moved, like mine just did, just reassess it and go back in with it. Okay, you can then also get your feathers and I'm going to just lay that feather on there. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So this feather is going to come on here. and get some colour on. Bubble side down, of course. Just going to Press that in there. I'm going to leave it for a minute so that I know where I'm going with this. And then I'm going to get some of these little tiny cotton reels. Just press it in. Just randomly. Put three in there. Then I've got some even smaller ones. Just again. Just going to put a three in there. one or two up here as well okay and then I have another feather which is this one which I'm going to put there and I'm going to roll her over the top of it with some lighter blue Then I'm going to take those off from that feather. I'm going to leave that feather there. In fact, I might even leave that feather on there as well if I can get that to stick. 
which it should do. Just give it a little roller just to make sure. And I'm going to turn that over, plop it down, press. And don't forget, I still have my feathers under there. Let's peel that off. Peel that off. And as you can see, Nice print. Let's see that up close. Okay. The other way that you can use your jelly plate is to layer colours. So we've used a lot of blue, we've used some purple. I am now going to add this pink in. clean the previous colours off because although I want the pink I still want some of the blue and the purple in there and then I'm going to go in with a stencil which I'm going to stick on and then I'm going to get a lot of this pink onto the roller and I am just going to push it through. I say a lot, it isn't a huge amount. It's the same as if you were stenciling normally. I'm avoiding the edges of the stencil because I don't want to have an obvious square if I can help it. But I do want that different layer of colour and then taking that off, as you can see, it's there. And now I am going to get my print on there. Okay, so that's that one. Then the other thing that you can do is lay your jelly paint down, roll your colour on, nice and even. And then you can put things on there. So I have a lot of this cotton kicking about all the time. Um, so just lay it on. Just wherever you want it to be. Random is usually good. Okay, and then if you've got something else that you might fancy putting on there, um, so like your bubble wrap, Maybe in that corner. Press it in. And maybe a bit there. So I'm using the design of the thread. And then, if you want to use paper, just like before, go over it. Use your clean roller and there is your design.
I hope you enjoyed that. There will be others coming soon. Um, just need to film them really. Uh, but that is the basics of jelly plate printing. There are other things that you can do with your jelly plates, such as transferring pictures and building up layers and layers. And I will get round to showing you how to do that very soon. Thank you for watching.